What's going on, everybody? Giant Opinion Sports here. If you hear any background noise, it's snow and ice like crazy. People are shoveling, so they might hear a little scraping. Sorry about that. But we're getting close to wrapping up the sign and walk series. This is probably my last one. I'm going to bunch two in there, maybe three. I was thinking of starting a new series where I give my thoughts on pretty much every starter on a team that's under contract, talk about what I thought of the player season, maybe touch on what I think what the future might hold uh, for that player. So if you like that idea, let me know in the comments and I'll start pumping them out. But today we're going to talk about Billy Price. It's uh, It's been a tough season for Mr. Price. You know, he had a really rough start. His first six, seven games of the season were about as abysmal as you'll see. Now, to his credit, he fought and fought, and by the end of the season, he was playing pretty decent. Now, he definitely shows flashes of why he was a first-round pick, but we just didn't see enough of those high-end plays. Now, he wasn't awful for the season. He, he wasn't good. His overall PFF grade was a 62.3. Then in 985 snaps, he allowed two sacks, uh, five penalties. And let's be fair here, Billy could have and should have had probably five, six sacks. I mean, there was plenty of moments where he got beat off the line badly. He gave up instant pressures. Daniel Jones made a few defenders miss in some of those situations. So the stats should look a lot worse than what they are. But uh, let's talk about his last eight games because as a starter, because that's where it really gets interesting. So... I dug in, and since week eight, Billy Price had a 72.5 overall grade. So in that stretch, he was the 12th best center in the NFL. Also in that time, he was charged with nine pressures, zero sacks, only one penalty, and a 98.5% pass block efficiency. So <laughs> I was really shocked to hear that. I had known he was playing better, but that really has kind of twisted my view on him quite a bit. So I got thinking, like, do I think he's going to be that good of a player all next season? No, but I think he showed that, you know, when he settled into his role, when he knows the offense, he was honestly a middle-of-the-road decent center. So I'm going to say sign on Billy Price. He's a younger guy, you know, his rookie contract just expired, so he's got room to grow. You know, I'm, I'm okay with the Giants throwing him a couple million, a few million. That's fine by me, structure, so there's not a lot of, you know, dead cap if you end up having to cut him but uh I, I just think it makes sense especially with nick gates returning you know right now it was a question mark overall i'd love the giants to draft a center but we only have so many picks and you know when you're starting to draft somebody in the fifth sixth seventh round you can't really rely on them guys to come in and, and give you depth year one but uh another player that i really want to talk about whose contract just expired is keon Crossan. if you guys remember Gettleman gave up a six round pick for him last year, and he was mostly a special teams player. That we did see him on the field a little bit later in the season, and he actually made a few plays, which surprised me. You know, he actually seemed to be effective on blitz plays, and I remember him making a huge play to help win a game. I want to say it was the first Eagles game that we won, but uh, his bread and butter has been special teams, and he's a pretty damn good gunner. You know, he definitely has value. The question to me with Crossan is, how much is he asking for? You know, I believe he was still on his rookie deal last year, so he was only getting like 633000 you're probably going to have to double, triple that to re-sign him because someone is going to try and steal this guy. Keon Cross and Cam Brown both had nine special teams tackles. They're both excellent players. You know, to be honest, both of them guys were about the best players on our team for their specific role. So with Keon Cross and I say sign. I mean, obviously, both these guys could get a huge offer on Raw, huge, but get a middle of the road offer you know offer that kind of changes my opinion on whether we should sign him or not but a top 10 gunner and a depth center are pretty important you know and that's just less uh less players that you really need to look for you know every everything you get out of the way just narrows down your draft so sign to both uh billy price and carlson i'd be good to that you know, wouldn't hear me complain i think i'm feeling a little generous today <laughs> but one last guy is eli penny i'll just throw him in here don't have much to say um don't really care if, if he's back or not I, uh, 
I respect him. He runs hard. Um, just, just a big bull. He, yeah. I mean, you can bring him in as a camp body if you want. You could probably get him for probably just bring him in as just a veteran minimum. I'd imagine he's decent. He's a decent fullback. You know, he has a little versatility to him. He can catch again. He can run. Um, got some running back traits, but uh, why not? I don't know. I guess sign for him too. Just vet minimum. Bring him in and let him compete. That's it for me. These have been fun, and I'll do these every season. Talk with about the. Uh, the players that contracts have expired uh, i've seen a couple of people writing the comments that they enjoy them they're cool so i uh, appreciate the feedback but let me know you want me to go through the roster starter by starter give my honest complete brutal thoughts and wh what kind of future i see for them let me know in the comments and i'll uh, i'll get going on that tomorrow listen these videos are more time consuming than you think. I spend six to eight hours making these videos a day, researching on especially the draft profiles. Hit that like, man, hit that like, keep me motivated. YouTube's been taking my lights off my lights off my video for no reason. I don't know what the hell their deal is, but I'm watching my videos go from 18 likes to 12 for no reason, which is sad. You know, the likes are the only way I can grow my channel so we can keep this stuff going. But uh, that's it. Like, subscribe, and peace.